Kelsey, for those of you who don't know me, I am a second grade long-term sub. We are just starting our fourth week of distance learning. So today is April 27th, and first thing on the agenda is going to Duncan and getting coffee, um, because that's the only way I function. Um, <laughs> yesterday I did make that like TikTok whipped coffee thing. I'll put in a picture. It's actually pretty good but I just need a quick thing to go pick up and not have to do dishes after. Um, <laughs> because it makes a lot of dishes for that one cup of coffee. Just gotta whip it all up in a separate bowl and then put it, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm going to Duncan now, getting my coffee. Hi, welcome to Duncan, how can I help you? Hi, I am picking up a mobile order for Chelsea. Okay, Chelsea, go ahead and pull up. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much, you too. All right, so it's about 7.30 now, and typically my workday starts around eight, give or take. We don't really have a required um, schedule or set times from our district, um, but I typically start around eight and end like whenever I feel like I'm done. But anyways, given it being a Monday morning, there's a little bit more that is involved in the morning, so I'll probably start immediately when I get home in like five minutes and get everything prepared because at the start of the week, that's when we send everything out. And I have quite a few things that I need to get ready to send out with my parents and my students so that we're ready for the week ahead. And I can show you all that once I get home, but that is the plan. Another thing that I wanted to address was that, I'm sorry for not uploading in three weeks. I haven't uploaded since week one of distance learning, the very first day. And now it's the very first day of week four, so it's been a minute. Um, but it has just been insane. Online learning is so much work. Sure, you're not going to a classroom and spending hours in the classroom, but there's so much more involved. Um, and I have just been so stinking busy and not feeling like vlogging. And typically I end up crying most days. So yeah, we'll see how today goes. Uh, there's a car coming on this one lane street. So I guess I'm, oh, there, oh, we're both going off through at the same time to let the other person go. All right, guess, guess we're going, all right. Thank you. Um, they didn't seem happy. Dude, you let me go. Why are you mowing in the rain, my dude? For distance learning, I'm set up in my basement. I have a daylight bulb shining on me because it's dark down here and it's sad and I need to do some lighting for videos that I make for my students. So I've got that. I have my Moana blanket because it's cold down here. I turn the heat on every morning and definitely hasn't warmed up yet. So blanket it is. Um, the plan now is to get those announcements all prepped, those Monday morning things. Every day of distance learning, I make a list, that's rainbow of course, that I work through throughout the day. Um, and typically I end up adding more things as the day goes on. It's just the way it goes. Um, we're going to get started on working through that list. All right. Now that all of those announcements are set out, I'm going to take a minute, drink my coffee, eat my breakfast. <sighs> week four, here we go. I did want to take a second to actually show you the things that we sent out on Monday mornings for the week ahead, just so you have an idea of what that looks like. So this is something we send out every Monday morning. This is a district-wide template that the teachers fill out for the students to complete throughout the week. So this is more of a daily thing I do for my students. I record my iPad screen and walk through the checklist of the things that need to be completed in a given day, along with how to access and log into each of those things. This morning, I did send out a Zoom schedule that we will be using moving forward. I'm just covering up the information about it. Um, but this is going to be consistent. We're going to use this moving forward. So I have some student pop-in sessions where my students can join and ask questions. I have a parent pop-in on Tuesdays for parents to check in. And then on Thursdays, that's when we have our whole class meetings on Zoom, which have been super fun so far. 
So it's a little before nine o'clock now and I'm still waiting for the student work to start filtering in for me to look over and give feedback. Um, but right now I am going to film one of those deli videos that I was talking about. I didn't film the one for Wednesday this week because my activity on Google Classroom didn't go live yet. So I'm just going to show you kind of a little overview of how I do those. Okay, so for my videos, I always start by going into Seesaw and showing our daily checklist. So this is what the daily checklist looks like. This is something I share with my students on Seesaw, and they will be able to use this as a template and move the green check marks over to the different assignments as they complete them. So I'm going to start my screen recording now. Whoops. I'm going to start my screen recording. And this is how my video to my students will start. We will look over the checklist and then I will walk through each item and explain how to get to those. So I am covering this because I have a code down there that I don't want to share. Um, but the first item is our morning meeting on Flipgrid. Flipgrid is an app that we use to make little videos um, and help build some class community. So at this point, I would tell my students to go ahead, open up the Flipgrid app, and then I would tell them the code that we need to enter. Again, that's not something I'm going to share with you guys, but I will go ahead and type it in now. So at this point, I would go back into Seesaw, back to that checklist we were looking at, and then walk the students through the next activity. This one is on Seesaw, so I would go ahead and open it up so the students know what they need to look for. This one I want is ReadWorks Asia. So then the directions are all here for them. And then I would walk them through the steps and what they need to do to complete the assignment. And then I would pretty much continue to just go through each of the activities, showing the students exactly what needs to get done. So now that I've finished the screen recording of the daily instruction video, I went ahead and put it into iMovie and then did a voiceover of me explaining the different steps. So let me show you what that looks like now. Okay, to start, I'm sorry for my dirty screen. It looks way worse on camera than in person, but still, wow, I really need to clean that. Um, but here's what my video looks like. Then you will read through the article about Asia. You can even click the play button up at the top to have it read out loud while you read along. After you read through the passage, go to the questions tab up at the top and answer the five multiple choice questions and then click submit down at the bottom. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of what I do for my kids every day to help them understand exactly what needs to get accomplished. And just like that, it is already 9.55 and in five minutes I have my student pop-in session on Zoom. Wow, this morning has flown, so time to hop on there, get myself ready. So it's a little after 11 o'clock now and my student pop-in session is done for the day. I think I had three students come by with questions and we were able to get them on track. Good to go. So that's good. Um, I have another Zoom with a student this afternoon to help them with everything. i um, trying to think. Oof, grading right now. I had five notifications in Seesaw of things that needed to be checked this morning and we're already up to 41 and it's climbing with every refresh of the page. Let's get going on grading. All right, y'all, so it's about noon now. I was just thinking, wow, I'm really tired. Um, it's because I only drank half my coffee. Um, yeah, <laughs> but I am going to take a bit of a break for lunch now, um, grab something to eat and then come on back and get some more work done. I have about an hour before my next Zoom meeting. We'll see what I can do. So I'm taking my lunch break in my bed because I'm freezing and I wanted my blankets. So I've got my pasta salad here. I'm going to eat, probably watch a YouTube video and then head back down. All right, so I'm back from my little lunch break now. I put on a sweater because I'm still freezing and I spilled something on my shirt, <laughs> of course. Um... But now I have about 15 minutes until my Zoom meeting. My principal's going to be there. Reading specialist's going to be there. So I'm going to prepare a little bit and then hop on that meeting. It is 1.15 and um, I have yet to have anyone join my meeting. Wait. All right, I'm out of the meeting now. It was like 1.30 or so before people joined. The, the sister of my student had another meeting and hers went late, so... That's why, but 
I think everything went as planned. She should be good to go. We're gonna have some check-ins just to make sure she stays on track, but yeah. So it is about 2.15 now and I'm trying to figure out how I wanna spend the rest of my time. Probably grading is what I'm gonna end up doing. It's like the main thing just to keep on top of it and everything like that. Cause my checklist is all checked off now. So it really is just grading as needed. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the plan. I'm getting so, so tired. I'm ready for the day to be done. still can't finish your coffee even when you're working from home so 18 unapproved posts and 14 of those aren't mine i think i did pretty good today so now that i'm caught up in grading i'm just covering student names here i wanted to show you a challenge of distance learning because there are multiple students who haven't done anything i have had student check-ins parent check-ins i've had zoom sessions trying to get students to participate but really from a distance there's only so much you can do and it's a big challenge and i blame myself but I, it's just there's only so much you can do Alrighty, it's about 3 15 ish now and i am just about to call it quits um i caught up on all the assignments for today mondays aren't too bad it's usually like later in the week there's more assignments and i get a little behind but monday feeling okay um but the last thing I'm going to do is make my rainbow to-do list for tomorrow that's how I end off my day so I have a plan for the next day um and then that's gonna be it I'm gonna shower I really need to wash my hair there's so much dry shampoo in my hair right now um but yeah let's finish up this to-do list <music> Alright, so it is 3.30 now and I'm going to call it a day. I'm seeing that tomorrow is super busy with like back-to-back -back Zoom sessions all day. So that'll be a fun one. Oh, thank you guys for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.